everyone uh, and uh, welcome back uh, for uh, this series of uh, three phase uh, calculations and in this question we will uh, tackle a bit different problem which is how to improve the power factor if we have certain power factor in the load how to increase this uh, power power factor and we will have like a sort of a universe universal approach that this is how you approach such problem uh, regardless what is given uh, to you as an input you try always to go through this approach and it will be very very systematic as we will see so here in this question uh, we have a three phase 440 volt the line to line voltage is 440 uh, 51 uh, kilowatt and 60 kva so this is a load that is connected in uh, y okay and operate at 60 hertz given the frequency and we know the s and we know the the p now it's desired to increase or to improve the power factor to 0.95 lagging to do that to improve the power factor to increase the power factor we need to connect what we call as capacitor bank so what is the value of the capacitor should be placed in parallel with each load impedance? Now, since the load is connected in Y, to have the capacitors in parallel with each load impedance, then we will connect also the capacitor bank in Y. Sometimes we connect them in, in Delta as well. And at the end, I will mention what would be the difference if the the capacitor bank was uh, is to be connected in in delta okay so what is the approach then here i will have two parallel calculations i will call this is old old refer to the the data that we have before we connect the capacitor bank so this is before and then i will have new and this is after and in each one we have three quantities that we have to identify the p the theta and q okay so let's start with the old so p old so this is the power before we connect the capacitor bank given to us as 51 kilowatt then we need to find theta, theta old. Now here we will use the power triangle. In the power triangle, as we know it, we have S as a value, we have P, we have a Q, and we have S, theta, sorry. So we know that cosine theta is equal to P over S. So cosine theta old will equal to your p 51 divided by 60 which is equal to 0.85 so from this your theta old will equal to cosine inverse of 0.85 and this will give you an angle equal uh, to 31.79 so this is my my angle what is left is q now we can find q in different ways but to make things systematic i will use the same approach so your q is equal to p tan theta tan theta is a q over p so your q is equal to p tan theta so your q old equal to p old tan theta old so your p old is equal to 51 kilowatt tan theta which is 31.79 and this will give me a value of 31.61 kvar so i'm done with q old p old theta old let's now move now after i connect the the capacitor bank so what will be p new now p new is not given to us explicitly however when we connect the capacitor bank we are supplying reactive power 
which means we are not touching the active power or the real power. So P new always equal to P old before and after you connect the capacitor bank, and this is equal to 51 kilowatt. Okay, now theta new we want to find. Now we, we can find theta new, new from the new power factor. So actually theta new is equal to cosine inverse of 0.95 and uh, this will give me an angle of 18.19. Excellent. So now we can find Q new which is equal to P new tan theta new. Exactly the same formula that we used to find P theta and Q in the old we will use them to find them in the in the new. So this is equal to 51 times 10 theta of 18.19, which is equal to 16.75 kVAR. So what happened here? We have a load the load by itself was consuming 31.61 kVR. When I added the capacitor bank, the combined load and the capacitor bank, now they are consuming less reactive power, 16.75. It means that what? That the capacitor bank is actually supplying reactive power. The capacitor bank is actually consuming negative reactive power. Okay, so from here, can find the magnitude of the Q supplied by the capacitor, which is equal to Q old minus Q new. And this uh, will subtract the two, 31.61 minus 16.75, and this is equal to 14.86 kVAR. So this is the total Q supplied by the three capacitors in this three-phase capacitor bank. We want to find what is C. C is for the phase. So we need to find what is the Q C per phase, which is basically 14.86 divided by three. And this is equal to 4.9095. Now we want to find the relation between Q per phase and C. Okay, how do you do that? Okay, we know that Q, generally speaking, is VI per phase, VI sine theta. For the capacitor, sine theta is equal to one, and actually it's minus one, but let's take the absolute value. So Q of the capacitor per phase is equal to V times I. Now, when we have a capacitor, we have V and we have I, we have ZC. What is ZC? Magnitude is equal to one over omega C. So your I is equal to V divided by ZC or V times omega C. So here substitute. So your Q of the phase is equal to V times V times omega c which is equal to v square omega c so your c is basically equal to q per phase divided by v square times omega what is the q per phase is given to us 4.95 kvr so it's 4.95 times 10 to the power 3 divided by what is V? Now, this V will be the voltage across the capacitor. Now, what we are given here, the line-to-line -line voltage. Since this is a Y connection, I will take the phase voltage. So, it will be 440 divided by root 3 squared. And that is the difference if we connect this in delta. If the capacitor back was connected in delta, then the V phase is the V line. And this will be equal to 440 squared. That's the only difference if we have the capacitor bank in Y or in delta. Now, omega is equal to 2 
pi times 60, the frequency. And if you do the calculation, this is equal to 03.7 micro microfarad. So this is how to approach a question that you are asked to find what is the amount of C to improve the power factor from X to Y value.